Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That is uh, the main street, the downtown in Orangeville where I live. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 11.25. It says, Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. Here's my poem. On giving freely. Do you easily share what you have with others? Or are you stingy to your sisters and brothers? The Lord blesses those who give freely. He gives them favor and makes them wealthy. To those who are selfish and greedy, they lose what they have easily. Give generously and cheerfully. He expects you to serve others self selflessly. Here's my essay. There are many people who only think of themselves and never go out of their way to give to someone. My mother was a very giving person. She had over 50 grandchildren and they all come to see her on Christmas for gifts. That was a tradition in the Philippines. Most godchildren would come and kiss the hands of their godparents and they'd get gifts. This was how I learned to wrap presents because she taught me how to gift wrap properly. By the time I became an expert gift wrapper at age 9, I would be asked to stay in a room full of her gifts <clears throat> for almost all her godchildren, her children, and all her relatives. She was almost like a Santa Claus. This was how I learned to become generous and give gifts freely. I thought all mothers were like her and I was shocked to find out that only few were. The Bible tells us to give freely. Prayer. Lord, help me to think of others more than myself. Reflection. Why do you think God blesses those who give freely and generously? Well, we know that God is a very generous God. He gave His only Son to us to free us from our sin and to save us from, um, from, from the curse of the sin that was done by, the first, uh, by our first father, Adam and Eve. So, since He created us to be like Him, He wants us to exercise that generosity that He gave us. He gave us a generous heart. So when we don't use the generous heart to, uh, when we're not using it, that means that we are operating in the opposite direction. We're operating under the enemy, not under him. Because uh, naturally and spiritually, he created us to be loving and giving people. So I invite you, Christmas time is coming soon, to give freely. But it doesn't necessarily mean giving, giving uh, material things. You can give your time, your, your uh, attention to somebody. So thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day. God loves you so much, and so do I.